because you should very much be washing your feet. It just gives what it needs to give, okay? And then it started going viral and I was like, wait, y'all been hyping her up. And oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Hey girl, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye. And if you can't tell by the thumbnail of this video, girl, we've been shopping. So I was initially going to include this haul as part of a vlog, but then I started editing the vlog and it's already almost two hours. And as you guys can see, I have not one, but two Sephora bags and not one, but two Ulta bags as well. So I figured we would just go ahead and make this a separate video. Y'all know we love a good haul on this channel and with the Sephora savings event right around the corner, I figured there was no better time to do a haul than right now. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of the products that I have picked up over the past couple of weeks. I'll have everything linked for you guys down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into the haul. Okay girl, so I'm gonna start with the Ulta products. A lot of this stuff is self-care items because I have been doing a lot of self-care over the the past couple of weeks and there have just been some things that I've been seeing that I wanted to try or that I've had on my list that I wanted to go ahead and pick up. I do have some makeup products as well but we have a lot more self-care in this haul than my usual haul so let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm not going to pull these out in any particular order. Some of these items are repurchases, but yeah, I'm just going to pull everything out and show you what I got. Okay, so first up we have a repurchase. It is these hand sanitizers from Touchland. I picked up the rose water and also the aloe scent. I was running low on these, so I just grabbed a couple of these when I saw them in Ulta. They sell those at Sephora as well. And then I actually didn't get a ton of makeup products from Ulta, so I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the way first. The first thing that I got is this little blending situation from Real Techniques. This is the Miracle 2-in-1 Powder Puff and Travel Case. I've been seeing a lot of people using these and saying that they actually like them more than the Beauty Blender version of this. So it basically, let me see, I'll go ahead and open it up so I can show y'all. Okay, so basically on one side you have a powder puff and then on the other side you have a sponge and you can also flip this over on both sides so that you can you know stick your finger in there and apply product to your face so like I said this is similar to a product that Beauty Blender has I forget what theirs is called but I've been seeing a lot of people saying that this one is actually better and listen if we can save a couple coin you guys already know I'm all about that and this I didn't realize it had a mirror on the inside so this is a little travel case it has a mirror on the inside and then of course you can just stick your little blender in there, close it up. This is perfect for taking with you on the go, like in your purse, but also for travel. So I'm excited to try this out, love the little case. No one shows that the case has a mirror. Like I didn't realize that there was a mirror on the inside. So yeah, this is super cute and practical in my opinion. I also picked up this Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray from Revolution. I saw that this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Makeup Forever, no, the not the Makeup Forever, the one size um, setting mist, the mattifying setting mist. I heard that this is supposed to be a dupe for that. So again, something else I'm trying out that if I could potentially save some coins in the future, we'll be able to do that because my one size spray is running out. So I figured I would try that out in the meantime. I actually got this from Target, but it's from NYX, which is also sold at Ulta. So I figured I would just throw it in and show it to you guys. But this is their Blur Sunscreen. I hadn't really seen anyone talking about this, so when I saw it in Target, I was intrigued and decided to pick it up. It's a blurring primer sunscreen with SPF 30. Sunscreen is definitely for all times of the year, but especially now as it's starting to get hotter, it's springtime, the sun is back out. You definitely need to make sure that you're wearing your sunscreen. So this one, when I saw that it was a primer and a sunscreen and SPF 30, I was definitely intrigued by this. And then also from NYX, I picked up their Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer. I have been seeing these everywhere, so definitely wanted to try these out. I picked mine up in the shade Nutmeg, so basically kind of like a skin tone shade, and I figured I would try this shade out first, and then if I like it, I'll kind of dip and dabble into some other shades. And then last but not least, Ole Henriksen is actually sold at Ulta now, and I saw this and, again, was intrigued. This is their Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. This actually comes in a couple of different shades, but I picked up the Strawberry Sorbet. I've been really into these like lip balm type products lately. I have been picking them up like crazy. So when I saw this, 
I definitely wanted to try it out. Okay, so yeah, cute little lip balm, a kind of pinky shade. Ooh, smells good. Has like a strawberry kind of scent to it. I don't know if maybe the different other uh, colors maybe have different smells, but this one definitely has kind of like a fruity strawberry kind of smell to it. So yeah, excited to try that out. So next up, let's get into some hair care products. I think I have a couple and then we'll get into skin and then we'll get into Sephora. So for hair care products, I picked up a couple things from Briogeo. The first thing I got is this Don't Despair Repair Strengthen and Repair Little Mini Set. I picked this up because I was running out of the, what was I running out of? The deep conditioning mask, I think. And I wanted to get another one, but I didn't want to get a full size because I wanted to try out some other things, which I'm going to show you in a second. So I decided to just get the little mini set just so I have the products that I need on hand, but not necessarily full size since I'm trying out some other things. But it comes with a shampoo, conditioner, um, deep conditioning mask, and also their strengthening treatment oil. And then also from Briogeo, I picked up these products. So this is the Destined for Destiny Caffeine and Biotin peptide density shampoo and conditioner I have uh, used these already and I do like these a lot if you are somebody that is looking for um, something to kind of give your hair more volume because as you can see I do have my natural hair out I took out my sewing like a couple weeks ago so I've been like kind of dipping and dabbling into some different hair care products and just trying out some new things and I noticed that Sometimes when I straighten my hair, it kind of is a little more, it can be a little more thin, like on the thinner side or like flatter side, I guess you can say. So I wanted something to give me a little bit more volume. So I picked these up to try them out. And so far I am liking them. I've used the shampoo once and the conditioner twice and I'm enjoying them so far. So yeah, I wanted to share those with you guys. And then last but not least, this is a repurchase. This is the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Looks like this. I've used this several times. I've gone through, I don't even know how many containers of this. My hair loves this. It has um, Jamaican black castor oil, which I think I said, shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar, which are all things that are great for your hair and stimulating hair growth. So if you're looking for an inexpensive deep conditioning mask that is really gonna moisturize your hair and like, you know, strengthen if you like straighten your hair a lot or use a lot of heat and you need something to you know repair your hair i would definitely recommend this mask okay so next let's move into some skincare and some body care all of these products i'm about to show you for the most part are new to me so the first thing i got is from good molecules this is the blemish scar and discoloration duo I picked this up because I have been using Curology for a long time, but I recently canceled my subscription just because I want to try something different. Like I want to try out like other products that are actually in the store that you can get that don't require that you have like a prescription or have them mailed to you so I can try them out and let you guys know how they work. And also just so it's a little more convenient, I can go to the store and pick up something if I just need something really quick. So I've heard so many good things about Good Molecules and I have also tried out some of their products before and I've loved everything that I've tried from them so far. So this comes with a niacinamide brightening toner, which I really was looking for a toner because I noticed I don't really have any, like I have a ton of skincare products just like in my drawers that I've kind of been accumulating from like PR and purchases and stuff. But when I was going and looking, like as I was running out of toners and trying to go get more toners out of my drawer, I realized I didn't have as many toners as I did of like products in other categories. So that is the main reason why I purchased this. And then it also came with the Discoloration Correcting Serum, which is super popular. So I've used this before, love this. I have not used this before, so excited to see how the two of them work together. And then I also picked this up. You guys know this product has been super viral. This is the Coors RX Advanced Snail Mucin, the um, Power Essence. I really wanted to get like the small travel size version of this, but they didn't have any in the store. And I really wanted to try this, so I just went ahead and got the full size version. Very excited to try this. I have yet to hear anybody give any negative reviews about this product. Everyone that I've heard talk about it says it does an amazing job moisturizing the skin and giving you that like glass skin look. So this is what the bottle looks like on the inside. And I've been doing a lot more skincare um, 
like content, especially on reels and shorts. So I'll definitely be sharing all of these products with you guys and letting you guys know the tea on whether or not I like them and you know, how they worked with my skin. And then last but not least for skincare, I picked this up from Urban Skin RX. This is their Youth Hero AM PM Serum. So this is basically like a two in one. It's got your serum for the AM as well as your serum for the PM. So this is what it looks like when you um, take it out of the packaging. So on the box, it says the AM side is supposed to improve the look of discoloration with triple brightening blend of alpha arbutin, a botanical extract, and a unique um, biomimetic peptide. And then the PM side has a retinoid active to fight free radicals and visible signs of aging. So I thought this was very unique. I've never seen anything like this before. Another item that is super great for travel because it's a two-in-one. You got your AM and your PM with one product. And I have really been enjoying Urban Skin RX lately. I have their little cleansing bar and then there's another product that I have from, from them too. I can't remember off the top of my head, but the products that I have been using from them lately, I have been enjoying. So this is actually new. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, okay, that's different. Definitely want to try it out. So obviously, like I said, I'll keep you posted on how all the products work on the skin. And then for like body self-care, I picked this up. This is definitely not a need. It's giving very much like luxury, pamper, night routine vibes. But when I saw this, I was like, why not throw it in the bag? So this is a foamy foot shampoo. And I first heard about this from McKenna. You guys know she is like the self-care queen. So this was not very expensive, if I remember correctly. I don't have any of my receipts right here, but I don't remember this being super expensive and I've had this on like my list to purchase for a while but I never see it in the store. So when I saw it in the Ulta recently, I went ahead and grabbed it. It has tea tree to heal and protect, citrus to refresh and deodorize, and eucalyptus to stimulate circulation. So you literally just spray this on your feet in the shower and it foams up and you use it to wash your feet because you should very much be washing your feet. So yeah, this is very extra but just something that I wanted to try out. And then last but not least, I got this really just because this is cute like get into it so this is from earth therapeutics this is a silicone soft body brush i'm sure you guys have probably seen these if you follow like people that do self-care like videos and reels on instagram or even shorts here on youtube but you basically can put your body wash on here and it just foams up and you just use it to wash your body so i thought this was cute i wish they had a pink one but you know this is cute too so i'm excited to try this out in the shower and see you know how it works for washing the body and yeah that is everything that i got from ulta so let me kind of clean all this up put it in the bag and then we'll get into the sephora stuff okay so i think i'm going to take everything out of the bag again because that just made it easy for me to see everything that i had and pick it up and share it with you guys. From Sephora, I got a lot more makeup products, but I did also get um, like a few self-care items as well. And I'm excited to share this stuff with y'all because I've literally been having all of this sitting in a corner for weeks <laughs> because I didn't want to start digging into too much of it. Um, before I was able to haul it for you guys and then not be able to keep up with everything. So now that I'm filming this haul, I'm excited to finally like be able to dig into this stuff. Some of it, like I told you, I have already started like digging into and like playing with and using, but most of it I have not. Okay, so for Sephora, I'm gonna start with the makeup this time because that is what I have the most of. And then we'll just go from there. And it looks like I may have thrown a couple of PR items in here too which I'll just show you because you can get them from Sephora. But the first thing I got is actually a repurchase, this uh, brow pencil from Benefit. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I get mine in the shade number four. This is elite, top tier, best brow pencil for me personally that I use on my brows. When I ran out of this, I tried using some of my other brow pencils that I had in my collection, like Anastasia, which I used to be obsessed with, the brow definer. But when I used it on my brows, when this ran out, it just wasn't eating the same way that this does. I love this color. I love the formula. I love how easily it glides onto your brow and just it just gives what it needs to give, okay? So I definitely had to repurchase this. Can't even begin to tell you how many of these I have gone through, but yeah, that was a repurchase. And then this is also a repurchase. This is from Milk Makeup. I got the mini size because I have so many setting sprays that I need to go through, but I didn't want to not have this in my collection because sometimes I just, you have certain things that you just want to use 
and this is one of them. So this is the Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. Um, and like I said, actually, I think I went in the store to pick up the large one of this and they didn't have it. I think that's what happened. So I went ahead and got the, um, the small one, which is fine. It'll be good for travel and, you know, taking on the go. And then once it runs out, I'll get the larger size of this. But this is so good. Great for using underneath your makeup, throughout your makeup routine. It's just going to refresh. It also sets and it's going to help grip and hold your makeup in place. So yeah, if you haven't tried this out, they do have a cute little like deluxe size version of it that you can pick up to try out to see if you like it. And while we're on like primers, I picked this up as well. This is from one size. So a couple of weeks ago, they came out with a new primer. This is the Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. So this is similar to kind of like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which you guys know I love. I've gone through several of those. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, okay, we'll try it out. Love the packaging, love the just the way that this looks on the inside. It's so pretty. And basically these little spheres on the inside, I don't remember exactly what they are okay they're like boba so it says it has beta glucan and hyaluronic acid listen don't come for me if i'm mispronouncing any of this i'm just telling you what's on the box um to hydrate omega fatty acids to prevent moisture loss black tea to help brighten and refresh and antioxidants to prevent from environmental stressors so very excited to try this. I actually forgot that I purchased this, which is another reason I'm happy that I'm doing this haul so I can put all the stuff in the drawers and start putting it to good use. Okay, so next up we have a lip balm. This is from Fenty Skin. This is so cute. When I saw they came out with these, I was like, uh, absolutely. It's basically like a little chapstick, but it's cuter. And I just saw on the box that um, this is actually a cherry lip mask. I didn't realize when I purchased this that it was cherry. Um, but this is what it looks like. How cute is this? One thing about Fenty, the packaging, mm-hmm, it's gonna slay. But yeah, it's just a lip balm. You just twist it up like a chapstick. I don't wanna twist it up too much, but you just apply it to your lips like a chapstick. I did try this out when I purchased it because I was just curious about the formula and I do really like this and I just think it's so cute. It's small, you know, you can throw it in your bag. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's just cute when you take it out to use it while you're out and about. So yeah, got that. Also got some new mascaras from Too Faced. These actually came in PR. This is the Better Than Sex, you guys know, they're viral um, mascaras, but this is actually a natural formula. So they've been coming out with like different variations and different formulas of their, you know, top selling Better Than Sex mascara. And this one in particular has 98% naturally derived ingredients. So if you are somebody that is looking for a mascara that has, you know, more natural ingredients then you know this may be one that you can pick up also from Too Faced we have a new concealer this is their born this way ethereal light uh concealer illuminating smoothing concealer and they sent me the shade ginger snap if you know you know i love the sculpting concealer from Too Faced like literally nothing compares when i need a concealer that i can count on i almost always am reaching for the sculpting concealer so excited to try this one out this is what it looks like packaging is super super cute and it looks like it's going to be a pretty good shade so definitely we'll add that to the concealer drawer and then i actually purchased a new concealer as well this one is the fenty beauty we're even hydrating long wear concealer y'all know these couldn't come out without me picking them up i got two shades 370n and 350c and my guess it's been so long y'all since i purchased some of these products i don't even remember what my thought process was picking this stuff up. And I got a lot of stuff from Fenty, like I'm about to show y'all. And I bought some more stuff during their friends and family sale, but I included that in my vlog, which will be up um, on Sunday, hopefully. So you'll see all of that in the vlog. I've been on like a Fenty Beauty, Fenty Skin little like obsession at the moment. We've been like this. So I have a lot more Fenty to show you guys in a second. But these are the concealers. Love the packaging super super cute and my guess is that i purchased these two shades because this one this one is um 
like my skin tone shade and then this one would be my highlight shade so i'm very 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 excited to try these i loved their original concealer so i don't doubt that i would like these as well and even though my skin is very oily underneath my eyes i actually like more hydrating products just so that it doesn't look dry underneath there and also under your eyes you tend to like have fine lines and stuff like that that product can settle into and also like putting a lot of overly dry products under your eyes i don't know if this is true or not but i feel like it ages you faster so yeah definitely i'm very much here for the hydration underneath the eyes and then i got a foundation as well i picked this up from laura mercier i'm sure you guys know this was going crazy viral for a hot little minute and funny story i picked this up when it first launched like months and months and months ago and I tried it out. I didn't post about it. I just tried it out one day and I didn't love it. And then it started going viral and I was like, wait, 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 wait. Let me go pick it up again and just see. So I got mine in the shade 4C1 Praline, which was the same shade that I picked up originally. So um, if I remember correctly, this was a pretty good shade. I love the packaging. It looks super sleek and just like, you know, luxurious. So we're gonna try her out again. And we're gonna see. I feel like when I initially tried it out, the reason I didn't like, I won't say I didn't like it, but the reason I took it back was because I felt like it didn't have as much longevity on my oily skin as some of my other foundations. And I have so many products that I ended up just taking it back. But it does say it's supposed to be a long wearing foundation that blurs the line between makeup and skin to reveal healthier looking complexion has skin loving, a uh, formula, medium buildable coverage. So we're gonna give her another try. Let me know if you guys would like to actually see me review it and do a full day wear test. Cause like I said, when I purchased this the first time, I didn't film it. I just tried it out one day and was like, eh, and took it back. But we're gonna try her out again because listen, y'all been hyping her up, okay? So we gonna see, we gonna give her another go and see what it's giving. And then lastly for makeup, I picked this up from Rare Beauty another kind of viral product i feel like a lot of these that i picked up are like things that have been viral lately that i've just been like oh okay i'll try it out but this is the brow harmony uh flexible lifting gel i had this saved in my favorites for the longest time and it was sold out for the longest time so that kind of made me feel like okay maybe she's worth it so this is what the uh packaging looks like and everyone is saying that this is like one of those brow gels that really holds your brows up and in place and if you've been watching any of my previous videos you guys know i've tried out the elf um like brow gel and the anastasia brow gel the one in the little pot even though i did also see that anastasia came out with a brow gel that's in a tube like this as well and a lot of people are saying that one works better than like the one in the little jelly pot but i've tried both of those and they did not work for me so we're gonna try this one out and see if we have any luck okay so now let's move into some skin body care and fragrance so we'll start out with skin and all of these products are from Fenty Beauty so the first thing that I got is the thick and smooth rich peptide eye cream I have been looking into just wanting to try out a new eye cream my absolute favorite eye cream of all time is the belief um, hydro bomb hydra the Belief Aqua Bomb um, eye cream. And I don't know if they're rebranding or repackaging or what, but I haven't been able to find it on the Sephora website. So I was like, okay, girl, let me try out something different. So I picked this up. This has the same um, kind of twist up packaging as their Plush Puddings Lip Mask um, product. So yeah, you just twist up the bottom, I think. Yeah, you just twist up the bottom and then the eye cream comes out of here. So excited to try this hoping maybe i'll find a new favorite until we figure out what's going on with the one from belief and then i also picked this up this is the cherry dub retexturing face and mini body scrub duo so this is a little set i love this packaging by the way i think this is their holiday packaging or maybe it has become like part of their like core packaging for certain products but I saw this for the first time during holiday and I absolutely love this but like I said it comes with two products so one is a cleansing face scrub again packaging eats and then also a triple action AHA body scrub I've actually been running low on my exfoliator so I'm kind of excited to have this I forgot again that I purchased it so this will be going straight into my bathroom and then the next thing that I got is actually a mask. This is a new product from Fenty. This is their Cherry Dub 
Blah to Bright 5% AHA face mask. So this is what that looks like. And I might have to do like a Fenty skin, like skincare routine because I forgot how many products I actually purchased from Fenty. And I think I might have enough to do like a full skincare routine. So we'll see. So this is what the packaging on that looks like. Again, packaging eats. And this says that it is a brightening mask with AHAs, BHA, vitamin C, and Barbados cherry. It's good for brightening, clarifying, reducing dark spots for a quick glow up. So yes, super excited to try this out. And they actually just came out with another mask. Um, it's like a clay mask or like a clay whipped mask so i'm excited to try that one out as well but i haven't picked it up yet and then last but not least we have some body care and some fragrance and then we will be done girls so first is a repurchase again from fenty skin this is the butter drop whipped whipped oil body cream um i know you guys have seen this before this is the original uh purple soft vanilla fragrance body cream I initially was gonna do a repurch, like a, a refill of this, because these are the containers where you can actually refill the product, but I couldn't find my original container. So I just purchased a full size version of it again. Hopefully, I can keep up with the container this time, and then I can just purchase the refills because over the holiday season, I got the set of the three minis, and the mini of this, I've been running through. It's like almost completely gone. So I picked this up so that I can refill my mini and then also just have this for when I'm at home. And then I also got this from Sol de Janeiro. I actually got the uh, body spray and the body butter. Um, this is the Delicia Drench Body Butter and obviously the matching perfume spray. This one, okay, so something I learned recently, all of the different um, like body butters and body washes from Sol de Janeiro, they each do something different. I didn't realize that. Did y'all know that? So each of the different body butters, body lotions, they don't all do the same thing. So like, I think the one in like the hot pink, like the dark pink colored um, one, that one is like, I think AHA and like resurfacing. And then the pink like the light pink rose scented one. I think that one is more for like moisturizing, like clarifying and moisturizing. And then this one is supposed to relieve dry skin, repair moisture and repair your moisture barrier is what it says on the box. So I learned something new. I was actually watching someone's story that went on a brand trip with Sol de Janeiro and she was sharing that on her story. And then when she said it, I was like, wait. And it made me go to my other products because I absolutely love this brand, but it made me go to the other products that I purchased. And I was like, I had no idea that each product, it's not just like, oh, we have these body washes and oh, we have these body butters. Like each one does something different and specific. So that made me actually love this brand even more because, I mean, maybe y'all knew that already, but I did not realize that. So again, like I said, this one is specifically for dry skin and repairing your moisture barrier. And when you, if you try it out in the store or if you happen to pick it up, the texture of this, you can see I already dug into it a little bit because I just wanted to try it out. It is super, super thick. And oh my gosh, it smells incredible. It smells incredible. So yeah, if you are a fan of this brand, I would definitely recommend, you know, picking that up and trying that out. They do have um, smaller, like you guys know, they always come out with like the smaller travel size versions. So if you don't want to invest in the full size of these, then you could pick up the smaller version just to try it out. And I'm trying to go on the website real quick just so that I can tell you guys the notes or like the scent because y'all know I'm not about to attempt to describe it to y'all because... Listen, we're just not gonna do that to ourselves. So this is a warm and spicy scent, or it's in the warm and spicy fragrance family, a warm and sweet gourmand. And it doesn't actually break down um, like the specifics, but just know, girl, it smells, oh my gosh, it smells, it smells amazing. And this one is definitely, like it's not like a, it doesn't give lotion, it gives like luxury, thick, rich body butter vibes. So if you are somebody that has dry skin, 
this one's for you. And then again, the matching scent if you like to layer and pair your scents together. And honestly, Sol de Janeiro probably won't see this video. I'm pretty sure they probably won't, but we might need to start a petition for them to, like when they come out with new scents, we need like the full line. So like how the hot pink one has the body wash, the body scrub, the body butter, the body spray, like we need that for like all of them because every time I pick up one I'm like okay let me try to go get the body scrub or let me try to go get the um body wash and when they don't have like the matching scents I'm like girl how am I supposed to layer all the scents when you don't have all the products so yeah we need body washes body scrubs for all the scents across the board um but yeah like I said this smells amazing okay so wait I just realized it actually has the scent breakdown on the back of the fragrance so it has vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sheer sandalwood. And listen, just know it smells incredible. Okay, so last but not least is fragrance, and I actually picked up three. So I have a good bit of fragrances that I have accumulated over the past couple of years. Every time that there's a sale or it's the holidays or anything like that, that is when I purchase like my more expensive fragrances. And I have accumulated quite a bit over the past couple of years since I like started the process of like purchasing every time that there was a sale or a savings event. So I decided to just get travel sizes of these fragrances because truthfully, every time I buy a fragrance, I don't always use it up completely. And like, I just don't need all these full size fragrances. That's just the truth. So for these, I decided to just get the travel size. And then if I love it and I use it up, then I can buy the full size. I feel like that's more like it just makes more sense. So I picked up three. The first two are Kayali scents. I got Eden Juicy Apple and Eden Sparkling Lychee. Um, Juicy Apple has been out for a minute, I believe, but the Eden Sparkling Lychee launched recently. And I actually picked both of these up because I was looking for something to pair with this body mist. I felt like I didn't really have anything in my collection that would pair with this. And I felt like it needed something a little bit sweet. Well, for me personally, I felt like this would pair nicely with something that was a little bit more on the sweet side. And also I'm just kind of purchasing things in preparation for spring and summer. So I picked these up. This is what they look like, what the travel size versions of these look like. So Sparkling Lychee is gonna be very sweet. Um, this one has black currant, sparkling lychee, rose, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. And then Eden Juicy Apple is also going to be sweet, but in a different way. And the notes on this one are juicy red apple, wild berries, jasmine, lychee, vanilla flower, and sensual musk. I actually didn't realize that both of these have lychee. And both of these have... Okay, no, I thought both of them had um, berries, but they don't. But both of them actually have lychee. So I think either of the two of these would pair nicely with this fragrance. And they smell amazing. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. Again, like I said, if you like sweet scents, then you would really like the sparkling lychee because it is very sweet. But it's not overly sweet. Like it smells really good. I feel like this is a really nice daytime fragrance. Like it's light, it's kind of playful, fruity, like sugary, a little bit like perfect in my opinion for like the daytime. And then the Juicy Apple fragrance, when I picked this one up, the um, one of the ladies that was in the store, she was telling me that this is like one of their most popular selling um, fragrances. And it smells amazing. When I asked my husband which one he preferred, he actually said he really liked the Juicy Apple, which I could see why. He said like this one smelled like candy, like a cupcake, which I don't know. I wouldn't say it's that sweet, but in comparison, I could see why he would say that. But I think they both have a place. And then obviously when paired and mixed and matched with other fragrances, I think they both, you know, would work well based on how you wear them. So very excited to have these, especially for spring. I think these are perfect scents for the springtime. And then last but not least, I got the Prada Paradox Intense. I think I picked this up because I saw Chelsea talking about this in one of her vlogs, Chelsea Janea. And she was saying how the regular Prada doesn't really smell that good, but the Intense smelled really, really good. And I think that's what made me purchase this. I did smell it in the store before I picked it up and I, I liked it. I think actually I went in the store once, sprayed it and kind of like, like wore it for the day, like sprayed one of the samples and wore it just to see what it was giving. And then I did end up liking it and I went back and I purchased it. 
but still got the travel size just to see if we actually use her up but I don't remember what it smells like so yeah 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 this scent it can be worn during the day but I feel like for me it's giving like date night but date night like kind of sexy but more like flirty springtime you got your clavicle out you got some skin out and it's giving like just flirty sexy date night vibes i'm gonna pull up the um the notes just so i can tell you guys but when i smell it to me that's what it's giving okay so this is a floral warm floral and it has jasmine amber and moss so that's like the scent profile for this one but yeah i think all three of these would layer really nicely with this and they all would give something a little bit different when layered with this because all of these fragrances kind of give something a little bit different, if that makes sense. So yeah, that is everything that I have picked up, you guys, over the past couple of weeks. Like I said in the intro, your girl has been shopping. I know this is a little bit of a longer video, but again, I love a good haul. I know y'all love a good haul, and especially with the savings event coming up, I figured I would just sit down and just share with you guys everything that I have purchased over the past couple of weeks. And honestly, like I said, I kind of forgot everything that I purchased. So I wanted to sit down and kind of go through it with y'all so that I can start digging into it and trying it out for you guys. So yeah, that is everything that I have for this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you have tried, purchased any of these products, what your thoughts are, what you're planning on getting in the upcoming um, Sephora savings event, if anything. And also, do you guys wanna see a recommendations, like Sephora recommendations video? I know I normally film them every time that there's a savings event coming up, but I'm just curious if you guys, if that's something that y'all are still interested in. So let me know, like sound off down below in the comments. Let me know if that's something that you guys wanna see, or if you would prefer that I just do like short form version, like on shorts or Instagram reels of like, um, favorite foundation, favorite primer, like different categories and just do it like that in a short form or do y'all want to see like a full whole video? Let me know down below. So yeah, that is all that I have for y'all for this video. Felt so good to sit down and chat and just talk about makeup and skincare and fragrance and all the girly things. Give this video a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye. Baby,